All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another EA Sports PGA Tour video. We are back to defend the green jacket. We finally won the Masters last season, and I've decided after winning um, also the PGA Championship, or sorry, the Open Championship at Royal Liverpool, we won two majors that year, and now we're moving on and trying to defend the Masters. This may be my final tournament. I may retire after this Masters. We'll see what happens, but uh, we're looking to defend the green jacket here and hopefully do so in style. I've turned the AI difficulty up to 100 because people had some valid concerns that um the fact that i've like that i now have like the mini green rating aspect on sim um does make the game easier like it makes putting easier it does and i get that but i actually find the game much more enjoyable to playing uh with it on so i'm keeping it on but i am putting the ai difficulty up to the maximum of 100 and uh yeah we're looking forward to uh to trying to win it here at augusta so let's jump in let's do this thing and let's hopefully go low in the round one here we're playing with jason day in round one which is nice to see i haven't really played with jason day much at all recently and john ha is leading the way at eight under par so that's quite incredible all right i watch this every every year though Every time. This is, what, our sixth time doing the Masters? Fifth time? What sixth time? What is about this parcel of land? Set deep amongst the Georgia Pines. That draws us in so. Is it the beauty? Is it the color? Is it the sound and the breezes? Is it the history? It's all of that. Everything together makes this place special. This is Augusta National. This is the Masters. All right, the Masters. Here we go, my friends. Now, We're teeing off. This morning, one of the Masters early in the morning. Traditions, the defending the green jacket. We got a first row seat to watching the three legends of the game Masters teeing team. off here. Gary Player, leg kick. With that classic leg kick. Jack Nicholas. Jack Nicholas, of course. Time, Hangs it out there, Jackie the boy. Well done, son. Well done. Synonymous with Augusta National. And Tom Watson. Masters Tom Watson as well. What a guy. And Man, the thing is, like, this is probably like 2030 now, right? In the game, he might not even be around here. That's sad to think about, but. It was then that the Masters tournament was officially declared underway. The Masters round one is underway here. And we're ready to bring it. John Ho, eight under through 15. That's quite incredible. Daryl Baker, three under through 12 as an amateur. Tony Finau also up there. Let's see what we can bring to the table here at Augusta. It would be awesome to defend the green jacket. Unlike any other. I've been taking three wood off this uh, tee and, and it's been working for us over the last little while. So I'm going to stick with that for now. That's just the absolute perfect tee shot. No, it's not. The leader yes, it is. John it's absolutely Conley. ideal. That's why you don't take driver. I would have been the face of the bunker if we had taken driver there, but luckily we're smart like that, and we take the three wood, and hopefully to God we can uh, we can put in a good round one here. Get off to the perfect start. Jason Day takes a perfect little five wood, three wood down the left side there, and uh, leaves himself a, a bit of a longer shot, but not too bad either. Jason Day smashes it up there. Is that going to be enough? Not quite. It's a little left and a little short, and that's going to be okay. Is the only way you could class that, really. 32-footer up the hill for Jason Day. Let's see if that's going to be enough for him to, the ball on an to make a birdie. Probably not, second. but I think he'd take, uh, he'd take a par right now. What about 186 here? So it's 182 to the back. I think with that wind and the uphill nature of the shot, I think I could make this work. That is so good, it's insane. Sit, 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 sit down, ball. Stay. Oh, yes. I thought it was just going to roll off the back. It's absolutely perfect. It's perfect, baby. Come on. Jason Day has got a birdie putt here. Let's see if he can get it. Needs to give it a good run. Jason Day. From deep! Oh my god, he's robbed! One inch short for Jason Day. Right, this is breaking quite a lot. Oh, 
Oh my god, it's breaking so much more than that. Jeez Louise. Okay. I think we can just power this one through the brake mostly. Yes, sir. We're going to start with pars here. A bit disappointing, but that putt was really, really difficult where we were. Uh, that putt was extremely difficult. And I'm hoping we're going to hear more about the, the new updates for this game. Um... Because, you know, this game came out about a year ago, um, around the time of the Masters. So for it to come out uh, with a big update around the Masters would make sense to me. And, yeah, maybe um, have some challenges and some new courses and stuff like that around the Masters. We'll see what happens, but, yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll hear something about it soon. All right, let's see if we can hit a banging drive right to left down the hill. Bada bing, bada boom. Smartest guy in the room. Look at that for a golf shot. Oh my god, that's gonna go at least 400 yards. <laughs> that is gonna go 400. Yeah, this Get, is down. A good drive. Get down there. Get is it gonna reach the 400 yard mark no, going down that hill? It just might. Two. 387. All right. Good shot. Not even 400 yards, man. Come on. Oh man. By the way, guys, I've been doing a lot of work on my The Hound channel. If you're interested, I've been playing GTA 4. I've been playing the classic Tomb Raider games. I'm going to check out Stalker, maybe, maybe. So a lot of the classic games. And also, I'll be playing some of the newer games as well. So if you're interested in seeing me play um, Man, any kind of story result. games, stuff like that, go over, check out The Hound channel. You won't be disappointed at the moment two. with the uh, amount of content and the, the quality of content we're putting out over there. I think it's been uh, really phenomenal. I just need to make sure I have enough space for this video. Yeah, it loads. Um, because my GTA video, I uh, actually completed GTA 4 today, and uh, I was stuck on the ending for maybe two hours. <laughs> like, it, there was a glitch. It was like an unbeatable glitch, although it was beatable, because there was a, like, um, I think there was this small little workaround where instead of actually capping A, you, like, slid your finger across A. And I was like, what the hell, man? Like, um, it told me to tap A repeatedly, but that wouldn't work. What a shot. Jason Day! Oh my god, I thought that was going to be all over the pin, but it just takes a big bounce on the downslope, well, unfortunately, for him. And uh, we'll be hoping to avoid that, personally. Like Let's yeah, see bad, if we can. So can show a bit of That's too Maestro much. Is the this the yeah, club? Let's see, what is it to the front? 185? This is so good. This is so good. Watch and learn how the greats do it, boys. That's so short, it's insane. Get lucky. Get lucky with the spin. Oh, yes. Come back down off this. Come back down off this. Come back down. Keep coming. Keep coming. Great shot. Right there. Great you shot. Know, probably a good thing it was uh, it was short on the back swing, honestly. Otherwise, it might have been too long. What the hell was that, Jason? That was awful, son. All right. I'm going to putt this, no doubt about it. All right, I can't really see that break, but I know it's breaking hard right to left. And it's downhill. So I'm going to go like somewhere up here. I know I know this, this part breaks like crazy. Oh my god, I thought we had it. It just switched angles at the end, but I thought we had it. Oh, close. Jason Day from left to right. Brilliant birdie from Jason Day. Brilliant birdie from Jay Day. And we are looking to hopefully match him here with this one. It's going to break a lot, but I think I can hit it through the break quite a bit. Oh no, played that one outside the hole and it did not come back right. Well, I tried to play it through the break a little bit too much there, I think. That finished off for par here the second. And he'll stay have I walked off with a par there, son? Is. How have I walked off with a par and J Day's walked off with a birdie there? Come on, what have I done? John Ho? Onward now to the classic three hundred. That's my bloody uh, reading of the situation. John Ho? Huh? Nine under? What in the fuck is John Ha doing out there, son? That is almost criminal. Wow. John Ha is about to break the course record here. <laughs> oh, I have to go for it. I just have to send it, you know? Sometimes you just have to send it in life. Watch this and learn from the greats of all time. Best shot I've ever hit. No, it's not going to get there. Ah! Good effort, though. Great effort. Great shot. 19 yards. That's the perfect flop distance, I reckon. From down there, just flop it up. Stop it dead. Tap it in. First party of the day. Move on. All right? 
We've had a little bit of a timid start here. We played well, just haven't really putted well so far. Uh, my putting's been really, really poor. Jason Day hits a bang average one, you'd have to say, from the distance he was at, from 84 yards. It's a, it's a pretty distinctly average one, but I think that the flop is either a flop or a spinner. I think I'm going to go for the flop just because the spinner's hard to judge. That's it. Great. Great flop shot. Correct shot choice. And that should be the first birdie of the day, although we missed a putt of a similar distance on the last. No, it wasn't quite that uh it wasn't quite that short. Two foot two inches should be pretty much a gimme. Um Jason Day for Birdie to get to two under par. He looks like that's good. Right in the middle. Right in the middle from J Day, man. Great shot from Jason. Wonderful stuff there, buddy. It is quite below, but it's like, I mean, I should be making this regardless. I mean, it nearly didn't turn in. It nearly didn't turn in, but that's our first birdie of the day. Thank you very much. We move on to the par three now. Ooh, voice breaks at 29 years old. I'm 30 this year. John Hurst shot a 62. A 62. Johnny boy, what are you doing? I cannot believe he's done that. That's a ridiculously good bloody uh, round there. Like, ridiculously good. That's not so good. Jason. Anytime I hear the name Jason, it reminds me of that. I don't know if you guys have played Heavy Rain, but if you haven't, you should watch it. Or play it, rather. Come on. Come on. Stay on plane. Stay on plane. Stay on plane. No! No! It's so close to being perfect, man. So close to being perfect. Yeah, Damn it. Be I don't think it would have got up that hill anyway, actually, but... All right. Not the end of the world. We can... Uh, I think I might spinner this. Second to the par three. Uh -huh. Uphill. Didn't quite hit it hard enough, but it's not bad. We've left ourselves in a decent position for power, but I mean, it would be horrible to give our birdie right back. Let's see if Jason Day can do any better. No, yeah, it's slightly better. Slightly better than my shot. It was a, it was a more difficult shot, you'd have to say. All right, it definitely breaks right to left quite a bit. God, the breaks are incredible. Yes, that's a big putt. Big save right there. Big save from the reigning, defending Masters champion of the world. Come on, baby. Let's see if JD got it in him. JD's got that dog in him. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. JD bogeys. After back to back birdies, he fires in a bogey here at the fourth. It's a difficult hole, to be fair, and that was a difficult putt. But uh, he's going to be disappointed with that one, no doubt about it. No, my knuckle! Finished off. My knuckle, my knuckle! He'll fall back to one. All right, 320. I'm going to hit the power drive just so I can avoid that bunker. I think I can almost carry that bunker if we uh, if we do end up hooking this, but that's absolutely perfect. Beautiful power drive. Couldn't ask for any better than that, and that puts us in prime position prime position here lovely lovely stuff well done turlock 155 left like that's unreal jason day plays a little fade and that is going to be a little bit short on the shorter side but not terrible i guess 203 yards left on this hole yeah that looks Yeah, okay. Can't say it's too bad. 20 foot 8 inches. Pretty good shot. This isn't going to be enough, is it? I'm going to have to finesse one, I think. And take some off it. I think a 150 shot is going to be perfect here. Because I don't want to be short. It's a long. It's a little long, son. Ah, Turlock. Maybe the 145 actually would have been perfect there, to be honest. All right, I think we can put this close. Sit. Oh my god. Don't go down. What a horrendous bunker shot that is, man. Wow, that is awful. Truly awful. Jason Day from right to left. Misses. All right. We still have a chance to save a par here. It'll be a huge save if we can make this. Come on. This is not going to be easy, though. Yeah. I mean, it breaks quite a bit. 
wouldn't say it breaks like a disgusting amount or anything, but it definitely breaks quite a bit. I think even the start is a little more. Oh, I overdid it. I actually probably had it in the right location, but I just gave it a little extra. That start was scaring me. It looked like it was on a big slope at the start. All right, that's a silly bogey to make, though. A really silly bogey to make. Come on, man. Jason Day stays one under par. We move back to level par, actually, I think, right? So a bit disappointing from us there, but we move on to the par three. This one's quite difficult, but you know what? I'm feeling I'm feeling good for a birdie here. I don't know why, but I got a good feeling about this one today. I think it's the pin that's on the top right today, right? Well, actually, no, it doesn't look like it is because he's aiming way left unless he's playing a mega fade. Yes, he is. He is playing a slice. Overdid it a little bit, but not terrible, I guess. Yeah, pretty good shot. And it's safe, you know, because it's very easy to come back on this hole. All right, I think 179 could be perfect here. The 8-iron could be ideal. All right, I'm going to go for it. 8-iron. Slow and overswing. Could cancel each other out. It's not enough. Oh, my God, it's not enough. Oh, that's so disappointing. Wow. Wow. If it wasn't slow, it probably would have been perfect. It probably would have been perfect if it wasn't slow, but if my aunt had balls, she'd be my uncle, you know? Great spinner. Great spinner. That should secure the par there. But it shouldn't be that much. All right. Good putt, Jason. Good putt. Well done. Jesus, I almost smashed that over the edge there, but a par. Level par through six. I mean, with John Ha shooting 10 under, we really need to be shooting an under par round here. Like, that is an incredible round from John Ha. Like, that is outstanding stuff. But hopefully he kind of doesn't keep that up over the four days or else we're in trouble, you know? <laughs> if he keeps that up over the four days, we're in big, big trouble. But Lipsky is nine under through 17 as well. What's going on here? Is that because I put the uh, difficulty up to uh, 200? I had it on 94 before, or 95 before, and they weren't even close to shooting those numbers. What in the world? Let's see two course records here at Augusta. Like, what the hell? All right, good shot. Good shot, J.D. Nice little fade down the fairway. Leaves himself about 146. Yeah, that's a good distance, I think. I might hit, like, a full three wood here. Just a full three wood. A little bit of a right to left draw here, small bit. Not really, it was straight as an arrow to be honest. That's perfect though. It's pretty much the exact same distance as Jay Day, maybe even a little closer, 140? Yeah, 142, ideal. Jason Day, one under. I want to beat Jason Day today, all right? That's the goal. I mean, like, we want to shoot under par and beat Jason Day. Huh? How about that? Come on, we can do that. Ain't no problem with that. Jason Day is on it. Ooh, I thought that was going to be all over it, but unfortunately it just goes down to the right a little bit. It is a bit of a tough pin position there. Oh, pitch and wedge finesse is going to be bloody ideal here. Watch and learn. That is so good, it's insane. Oh, this could be good. Oh my god, go. What a shot! Sit! It's going to be a difficult putt, actually. It's a little bit unfortunate with how much that ran out. I needed it to just sit. I needed to just sit down right as it hit the green, but it didn't do that for us, unfortunately. Jason Day plays a chip. Pretty good. You got a chance, but this is... Watch this. Okay, maybe it's not as bad as I thought. It's still two degrees, but I feel like I was expecting it to be worse than early. No, I gave it a little too much again. Overrating those putts just a touch. And it's going to be a tap-in par. All right. You know what? We're still level par through seven. I'd love to finish the front nine under par, though. All right. Well done, Jason. Well done, Jason. Let's see if we can finish the front nine under par. Good par there. Two holes left. we got a par five and then a par four. The eighth, uh, the eighth hole is um, pretty gettable. I think. It's tough, but it's gettable. Wow. Lipsky shot a 62 as well. What in the world is going on here? What actually is going on? Like, this is incredible. I, I don't even know what to say about that. That is a... 
a ridiculous leaderboard. 10 under, 10 under, 6 under. Like, what the hell's happening here? The yeah, two ten unders like have come out of nowhere from no names as well. Like, the bat is well done with the three like it, it, well, it's not the players you'd expect to be up there, at least, you know? <laughs> it's not the players you'd expect to be shooting ten under at Augusta here. We'll do I don't expect fine. anyone to be shooting ten under at Augusta, but John Hunt and David Lipsky, of all people? Like, what the so hell? Look the how far one. up we are past Pretty Jason Day, by the way. Number to capture the par five. Jason Day hitting DOD here. Is he going for this? No. Oh, okay, fair play for going for it anyway. All right, we need this to one to kind of sit immediately on the green if we can. Maybe even land line, this like. Check. You're gonna have to okay. pull off an awfully great shot, hitting it right to left and trying to fit it in that narrow opening. All right, watch this. I need that to sit. No, 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 no! I don't need it to sit. Golly. And that one gonna Just make can't get any height on that four iron, huh? All right, Let's no problem. Ball sitting in the left half of this fairway, which definitely increases your chance of getting it close because of the angle. Okay. All right, what can we do? Flop it? Let's put it close with the flopper. Come on. Underswing and slow. Shit. Oh, my God. At least we've left ourselves an uphiller, but that's not a very good one. I would have wanted it to be much I probably should have played a pitch there, to be honest. All right, so breaks left to right. Not significantly, but it definitely breaks left to right. And it's up the hill quite a bit as well. I'm going to say, like, playing it, like, 10 inches up above. Big putt. Big putt here. Come on. We go under par through eight. I said I wanted to be under par through nine, so all we need is a par on nine now. And then we can move on to the back nine with a little bit of promise, a little bit of hype. Come on, that's huge, man. Jason Day down the hill, rolls it in. Well done, J Day. He gets back to two under as well. Great putt. All right. We need to start moving on if we want to get close to these 10 under guys. Like, that's insane. Carolina Cherry. Okay. Rolling a good 30, 40 yards or so back down the hill. Jason Day smashes it down there. This is going to be a beautiful drop mm. down the hill into the big clearing. And it'll set okay. a good, Pretty good look at this ninth green. Pretty good, Jason. Pretty good, lad. Not bad. 144, leaving some pitching wedge distance. I might just bang it on down there with a driver and get it as close as possible. Get myself. Honestly, no, I'm not going to do that. Because I've done that the last few times. And I feel like I, I, I don't want it that close. Because I don't want all of that spin. So I'm just going to hit a hybrid down there. That's a beautiful swing. And that will leave us probably similar distance yeah, to Jason Day, a little bit closer, maybe like the 130 shot. range. Where you want to be? 136. Ideal. Great Let's go. From here to attack this hole location, which is on the center Jason Day the smashes it up there. The backstop behind the hole, or make sure you get at least. That's gonna spin off, no doubt. That's spinning off. off. Oh my God, that's coming all the way back down. Jeez Louise. Mm -hmm. right, 136 left in wind with me, but it's also uphill. I'm going to hit this full. Gonna have to hit something high and soft to find the right level of this green. Oh yeah, that is so good. Don't spin all the way. Don't spin all the way. Just spin back down to the hole. Spin on back down to the hole. Keep going. Oh, what a shot! To this day! That's going to be the shot that wins us the Masters right there. All right, calm down. <laughs> it's round one. <laughs> Let's cam it all down, eh? Jason Day! Oh my god, I thought he'd hold it for a second. Jay Day very narrowly holds it there. Incredibly impressive pitch shot from him, and he's gonna roll this one in for a par. All going well. It's, quite, it's still quite a difficult putt, though. I wouldn't say he's just gonna tap it on in there. Still a bit difficult. Jason Day from right to left gets it. On this first nine. Come on. Two under. Two under, baby. Let's go. Back to back birdies to end the front nine. That's really good stuff. Xander Schauffele, 500 through 16. Quite a lot of people around that 5 6 under mark, honestly. Much more than you usually see. That's usually like the leading score after the rounds that we've played. But not today, son. Not today. It's a huge difference. Let's play our usual customary stinger from right to left here and hopefully bang it on down there. Go on now, lad. Yes, sir. 
That works. Oh my god, we've tattooed that. That might reach the bunker. No, it's perfect, though. Ideal position. 133 yards left. And that's really, really good. Great shot. That one flirting with the left edge of the fairway. No issues here. That is into the fairway. 37 yards to the front, 144 to the flagstick. The pin is in the front right part of the green. Ah, good approach shot. 30 putt coming up. Jason or Birdie. Yes. Uh, seen folks in Shit, I had my mic muted. My bad. Um, my bad, my bad, my, my, my bad. I had my mic muted. But uh, what I was saying is I just hammered it through the break. I'm an idiot. Oh my god, I almost missed that one as well. But yeah, of course, like from the middle of the fairway, I bloody make a silly little bogey there. That was stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Back to one under after the back-to-back -back birdies. It's a PBFU there of the worst kind. And we move on to one of the harder holes on this golf course, the 11th, before we start to get to the easier stretch of this course. Jason Day smashes it on down there. Great shot from Jason. Um, actually, it didn't go nearly as far as I thought that was going to go, honestly. But it was only minus 4.3%. He's still leaving himself 240. That's insane. Like, 240 left. That's crazy. All right. Let's see what we... Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Get lucky. Ah, Christ. That is truly especially awful, man. I'm going to have to play a punch or something because I don't think I can get it through there. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. J-Day from 240. That's in the water. No, it's actually outrageously good from Jason Day from that far away. Oh, my God. We're going to have to play a creative shot here, man. And I don't think that I can match that one from J-Day. Yeah, I have to play a punch shot. There's no way anything else is going to be good enough. Like, is a forearm punch shot actually going to get there is the question I have. Like, I actually... I actually... I actually don't know. That'd be the shot of my dreams. What a shot. Slow down, Betsy. Oh my fucking god. Stop. Stop! What are you talking about right now? That ball was running like Hussein Bolt, man. What are you talking about? That shit. That's crazy. This is going to be such a tough one, too, because it's going to run and run and run. Go. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Ah! Stop! I thought that was going to be right in the hole for a second. All right, if we can get the par here and avoid getting back-to-back -back bogeys... Just That'll be clutch. Here, Jason Day for birdie. This would be a hell of a birdie, honestly. It looks good. If it's going to reach. Oh, my God. What a birdie that is. Incredible birdie, man. Incredible birdie. I can't even... I can't even lie to you. That is just absolutely impressive. Not much you can do about that one. Oh, my God. That nearly missed. What? Why did it nearly miss? All right. We had to Rosie's. Rosie's? Well, it's the name of the part three in my, in my home golf course. That's a downhill part three. I don't know why I call it Rosie's. <laughs> we had to the Golden Bell. All right. The answers lie somewhere near the top of those towering pines that kiss the Oh, no. Jason Day's on it now. Oh, it's long. Thank God. I, I was going to say, that looked like it was going to be so good. We need to play these next four or five holes in really good. Really good standings here. That's not enough. That's too much. Okay, so I gotta just take something off this. I'm gonna play like a 150 shot, I think, is the play. That's long. Maybe not, actually. That could be a whole one. No, it's good, though. Good shot! Really gives us a great chance for birdie here, because this... Usually, this green is not, like, there's not crazy breaks on this green, right? At least around the pins. 
Now from so the I think we, we should have a good shot to make a birdie here. And we need it. Bad. Jason Day, if he could make a bogey and we could make a birdie, that would be a okay, huge, huge two-shot swing here. I mean, it's not really like we're playing Jason Day that much, but it would be it would it would help. All right. All right, let's take it a little bit off this. Huge putt. Come on, huge birdie. And we move on to that par five, par four, par five section with some momentum here. And if we could come out of this section, maybe four or five under par, that makes a huge, huge difference. All right, this back nine. Is where you do or do or die basically and jason day makes the par putt that's clutch it's clutch from jason day's four under heading to this tough uh heading to this scorable section i should say i was gonna say tough section this is the scorable section lipsky and ha seems like they are going to be leading co-leaders at the end of the day is anyone else going to shoot 10 under anyone else want to shoot the course record here as well no anybody god damn it that's not very good I'm in, a, I'm in a draw it more. I mean, it's not bad. Don't get me wrong, but I was trying to draw it more so it would make the shot a little bit shorter. Jason Day. Yeah, it's going to be even longer than my one, to be honest. Not bad, though. 237 in the second cut. I don't know if he's going to go for this. If he does, he's a brave man. I'd love to see him go for it and just land it straight in the middle of the stream. Sorry, Jason. I like Jason. He's a great guy. <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind playing with you again, Jason. I wouldn't mind playing the second round with you again. Because we haven't had a lot of time to to converse over these last little while. But that's a great shot from Jason Day. He leaves himself a bit of a longer one, in fairness. That's going to be a difficult putt. But usually the AI doesn't three putt too often. Right. Most famous par five in the world. Let's see if we can make a birdie on it. It's underswung, but that's absolutely golden. Fade a little bit more. Get to the right. Get to the right. Oh, it actually goes the opposite way. Wow, I thought that was going to be so good. I thought that was actually going to funnel back down to the green. I think it was like if it was a tiny bit further right, it would have started funneling right. So after two but c'est la vie, here, this, this is the way, this is the way with Jason Day. Well, this one is looking good. No way. Could it be? No way, Jason Day. I told you they rarely three putt and that's going to be a tap in birdie for Jason Day. And we're looking to have something similar here. I would love a little tap in par or tap in birdie rather. Tap in par wouldn't be great. Get in. No. All right, that's still a tester. It looked like it was much closer from the angle we were at, but it's definitely turning a little bit, yeah. But it's not like it's turning a crazy amount either. Hold on. We're putting those short ones in with a little pace, but it's back-to-back -back birdies. We're three under par, and things are looking good here, all right? Things are looking A-OK. -okay. Jason Day, let's see what you got, brother. J Day for birdie. Well done. Well done. It's a birdie for Jay Day. He's birdied three of the last four and four of the last six. Impressive stuff from Jason Day here as he moves closer towards that lead again. We are three under in, t in the top 15 here. It's a good, solid first round, but I'd love to make it into a great, solid first round, you know? If we could make it into a great round, I think that would make a big difference here. I'm going to play a little bit of a high draw here. Draw a little more. Yes, perfect. Ideal, actually. That is so golden. You wouldn't even believe how good that is. That what a shot. A shot up the hill and Beautiful. The fairway, 111 yards left. That's golden. That looks like it's fading a little bit too much, maybe. No, it should be fine. It's not going quite far enough to travel into the trees. So, good shot, Jason. Well done. Well done, mate. Well done. Feature of this hole is Jason the Day. Design of the green, cut into three separate sections, guarded by an amazing go? false front where the ball. Oh, it's brilliant from Jason Day. He's on another level right now. That's for three straight there, and he's got a two-foot, ten-inch putt. Maybe AI hundred difficulty is a little bit too difficult. Maybe, maybe, quite contrary. This should be perfect. The lob wedge is going to be perfect here. Watch. Watch this. I still need you to zip just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Somebody's closer. Yeah, Am I closer, though? Who's closer? Yes, come on. <laughs> Suck on that, Jason. I'm closer. Let's go. I think we're both two foot ten inches, though. I got to be honest. I think we're both the exact same. 
Jason Day rolls his in to get to six under, and he's only four shots back in the lead now with four holes to play. And we are looking to get six back with four to play. We're not quite on J-Day's level today, but we got time left. It's three birdies in a row. That's a that's a good way to turn the round around. Three birdies in a row, baby. Come on. I love this hole. easiest hole on the course behind only number 13. It was lengthened in 2022. With Banger. Extra 20 yards that is golden. All the way down there. Keep going. Keep going. It's going to be a little bit of a difficult one from there. 228. I like it. I like it, actually. Maybe a five iron from there could be absolutely perfect. Land that at the at the middle front of the green and just let it run out that back right pin position. Nice little eagle chance, baby. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Come on now. Jason Day. And no issues there. Good tee shot in the short grass. 307, though, he's not going to be able to go for it. That's for sure. And if he does try to go for it, it's going to land in the middle of the lake. Watch. The I swear they do that sometimes. The they try to go for it still and then cool. just let it go into the middle of the lake. But we'll see if Jason Day... Make your mind up here, pal. Oh, God. He's still got the three wood here. That's in the water. See ya. Uh-oh, that's trouble yeah, over that's there. Yeah, that's in the water. What an idiot. <laughs> What not, an idiot, good. but that's good for us. We need that. All right, five iron. A bit of a high fade five iron, maybe? This could be perfect, dude. I mean that. This could be perfect. Fade a little more. Fade a little more. Oh, my God. That's awful. Flash 2.6%. For fuck's sake, Turlock. It would have been bloody perfect if you didn't do that. Not the end of the world. We'll get up and down for a birdie from there. And Jason Day will have to get up and down for a par. He probably will as well, because he always does this. They, they do some stupid shit, and then they just end up making a par anyway. Uh, yeah, he's giving himself a decent chance for a par anyway. Eight foot five inches for a par. All right. Breaks a little bit from right to left. Or left to right, rather. Go in. Go in. Oh, my God. I thought we had the eagle for a second. It looked so good when it came off the club face, didn't it? This is a nine All right, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a birdie for us though. We're gonna gain one on Jason Day. Get one shot closer to him. Hello, girl. How you doing? Good to see you. He's missed it. Ooh, it's a two shot swing. I thought for sure he was making that. Tap in birdie for us. Tap in bogey for Jason Day, and things are looking good on the recovery side of things here. Four straight birdies here. I'm telling you, that section of the round can just save your round completely. Like that section of the course is just so scorable with the par fives. Um, okay, even the golden bell of 12, the par 3 can be very difficult, but it's definitely a birdie chance as well. All comes down to what the wind is doing. Like, if the wind is going crazy, it's a little more, more difficult, but only five shots back now. Things are looking good, baby. Three holes left. Let's see if we can finish the last three holes in one under. I always find these finishing, this finishing stretch difficult, but not impossible. I have a good feeling about the 8 iron, or 7 iron finesse here. What do you think? Uh, well, maybe. Great shot. Just a little bit slow, but 16 foot is pretty good on this hole for a birdie. It's not like this is an easy hole by any stretch of the imagination. I actually quite struggle with this one. It's a difficult one. But, yeah, we'll take that. Jason Day is overfaded a little bit. 26 okay, foot. Okay. There is a big break here from right to left, and we're going back up the slope, but just ever so slightly. So you have to prioritize Jason Day that from line. right to left. Mm. Mm, All right, we have a chance to actually tie Jason up now. It's not an easy putt. Wow. Whoa. What? Not like that, guys. Come on. You sickos. You sick-minded freaks. I'm gonna tie Jason up. You sickos. <laughs> So close. What a putt. What an effort. What an effort, but not to be on this occasion. It's going to be halved here, basically. We both get threes. Oh, well, Jason Day bogeyed the last, actually. So we are already the same score. What am I talking about? We're both five under now. Forgot he uh, it was a two-shot swing. All right, so we're both five under. So maybe we will be playing together again in round two. I like, I'd like that, Jason. I'd like me and you to play together again. That'll be awesome. I don't know if anyone else is up or around there. It seems like Fina was at one point, but I think he shot three under. Let's see if there's anyone else that can 
uh, realistically play with us. Sepstrak and no Cameron Champ could be playing with us potentially. Uh, Jason Day, Xander Shoffley maybe. Um, if we kind of fall back a little bit, you know, other than that, it, it seems like it's between Day, Champ, and Xander. I wouldn't mind playing with any of those to be honest. We don't play with all, uh, any of those guys a lot. A little bit fast. Uh, where's the pin? Oh, it is that pin to the left here. I'm hoping that that's long enough so we're not actually in any tree trouble here. I think it might be. Jason Day does something similar. It's not ideal, but it's not bad either. Yeah, that's a nice swing in the result. 178 for Jason Day. Is he going to clip this tree? No, it's beautiful. What a shot. That's really good. Unfortunately, it does run out a little bit more than he'd like, but can't really complain too much after the distance he left himself there. Love wedge ain't quite going to get there. What if I finesse a 54? Yeah, I think that's going to have to be the play. I'm just going to have to take a little bit off it. That could be absolutely golden. Oh my god, we are on it right now, guys. We are absolutely on it right now. What a finish of the round this has been. If we could finish six under, that would be really acceptable, because I never birdied the last. I can't lie to you, but if we could birdie this, par the last, I think that's a wonderful round of golf. Jason Day from deep looks good. Oh, he's got it! Jason Day, when he looked down and out, comes up with a beautiful putt there. All right, there's not much in this, honestly. I'm just going to give this a little tap, tap, tap a root. And that'll do nicely. Thank you very much. Great birdie. We've birdie five of the last six. Massively impressive back nine. And if we could get a three on the last, it would be a bloody seven under round with a five under back nine. That would be quite impressive, eh? Let's just bang this drive up there. Play a little bit of a high fade if we can. I don't want to overdo it. That's too much, man. Come on. Why do I always do that on this hole? Like this hole specifically, I always do that. Gosh. And this gonna come down and I don't know, maybe we're far enough the up there that the cut. tree, the overhanging tree, isn't going to be a factor, but I don't know. I think that's going to be a problem. We shall see. We shall see, Renly. Come the dawn, we shall see. Jason, you going to match me, pal? I don't think that's long enough, man. He might have to play a big giga fade as well or something here. Yeah, no, that's actually perfect. I think mine's fine as well, actually. I'm, I'm completely fine. I'm not going to have any issues from there at all. Jason Day playing a low bullet fade. That is a golf shot. Oh my god. What in the world? What a shot. That bounce and everything was incredible. This pin position is very difficult though. Even if you get it close. Like I... What the fuck? Why would I ever hit this? <laughs> what in the world? Like what the actual fuck are you talking about game? Alright. So 163. That isn't enough. I know that. What about a finesse? 172? Yeah, I think that could work. A little eight iron finesse here. Come on, let's make it work. That could be good. Oh, please be good. 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 No way it gets that soft of a bounce after Jason's get the hardest bounce of all time. Are you joking me? Oh, come on now. That ain't right, Michael. That ain't right, you old son. Okay, okay, okay. Jason Day from right to left, all the way down the hill it goes. He makes it! Incredible finish. Back-to-back -back birdies for Jason Day. It's a seven under round to start, and we have a putt to do the same. Maybe a chip? I don't know. Uh, whether to putt this or chip this. It's gonna... I'm gonna chip it, I think. I actually think chipping this is like... It takes a lot of the risk out, because this is gonna be crazy otherwise. Yeah. See, I didn't want to putt it and then have a really difficult one back or something, so I'll settle for the six under round. I mean, the scores have been off the hook here on in round one of the Masters, but we've kept ourselves in the mix with a phenomenal back nine here, especially the last six holes or so, uh, six, seven holes. But David Lipsky and John Ha lead the way. Aaron Badley, eight under. Jason Day, seven under. And myself at six under par there in T8. So six under in the Masters is only T8. Tyrrell Hatton, Jason Day, Seth Straka, 
all up there. I wonder who we're going to be playing with in round two. I imagine it's either Jason Day or Cameron Champ. Uh, let's see. It's Hello there. Patrick Cantley. Where the fuck did he come from? Wins are up quite a bit as well. Where did Patrick Cantley come from? Because I don't I don't remember seeing his name. Corey Connors is the leader at 10 under. Projected cut 5 under. The fuck's going on here? That AI at 100 is crazy all of a sudden. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. It's the best way to let me know you enjoy the content, and I'll see you guys next time. It's been my distinct pleasure to serve you all. Keep the flag flying, and I'll see you next time.